failure is a real opportunity. It's a signal. Failure is a signal that something else um, is happening, change is happening, and it's usually for the better. Hi, everybody. My name's Adrienne Tan. I am the co-founder of BrainMates. You know that things change all the time and roadmaps aren't, uh, isn't dogma. You know, it isn't the promised land. But the roadmap is um, a symbol, a symbol of good leadership and communication. I think having a roadmap means that you've done some thinking as a leadership team or as a product team. Um, and it is the manifestation of that good thinking that, that is the roadmap. It doesn't mean that it can't change, but it shows your team that, hey, I've done some thinking, I've done some analysis, and here's the outcome of that. It doesn't mean that this is exactly where we're going. It doesn't mean that it is the map and that's you know a promise, but it shows the team, the market, your, um, your, your customers, whoever it might be, that you've really put some thinking behind where you see your future and where you see the product heading. As a product person, I think one of the um, skills that we need to strengthen is around sales. I'm a shocking salesperson because it's embarrassing. It's like, you know, you don't want to put yourself forward. And I think a lot of product people suffer from that. And I think we need to change that mindset. And the best piece of advice someone got um, told me was, um, Adrienne, you're a really likable person. You know, like you, there's a charm, you're, you're really likable. So don't be afraid to sell. They're not going to dislike you because I'm afraid like, oh my God, I don't want, you know, if I sell you this and people are going to go, oh, I really don't want to be your mate anymore. I don't want to be your friend. Um, and so it's like, and that's always stuck with me. So now I think I'm braver and I'm, I'm, I'm able to go, hey, you know, maybe we can help you with this. Um, have you thought about training? Knowing that um, they're not going to dislike me because I've tried to offer them my services. But at some point, you're gonna to have to figure out um, that if you want to build a long-term business, that's not just focused on short-term revenue gains, but that long-term growth, you need to do your work, you need to identify your opportunities, you need to, um, you need to figure out whether you're gonna get a return. But then the third thing that a lot of people don't do, and this is where, um, this is where, you know, it is the toughest bit. You have to make a decision to invest in that opportunity. Now that means foregoing um, short-term revenue gains. And that is very painful. I can tell you now, we're going through it. Um, but if you if you're believe in your vision, if you believe in that opportunity and you can see what growth looks like, then you're prepared and, and you're prepared to make that decision, then you can forego today's revenue, short-term revenue gains for that long-term growth. But it's a change, it's a willingness to make that investment. Where we come unstuck um, in product management these days is that we have access to so many tools, so many templates, so many um, opinions, so many rights and wrongs. And what happens is that we try to model our behavior um, against other people in other companies. So if a company is using that particular tool, we think, you know, hey, I will get the same results if I um, apply, take this tool and transplant it in my business. Um, and Sometimes it may work and sometimes it may not work. And we have to be cognizant of that, really mindful of whether that tool will work in, in our context, in our business and in our life cycle, in our stage of company.